solid, liquid, and gas. Hi, friends. You know that we are surrounded by a number of things around us, like plants, water, table, chair, vehicles, air, animals, etc. All these things occupy space and have some weight. These are called matter. Let's learn about it. Do you know what is a matter? No, ma'am. Name some things which you find around you. Table, chair, charts and fan. Chalk, blackboard, water can, books and bag. Good. Apart from this, we have trees, plants, animals, vehicles, lakes, sea, buildings, machines and air around us. Any substance that have weight and occupies space is called matter. All the above said are matter. States of matter. All matter is made up of tiny particles called molecules. They are attached to one another by some force. All the molecules of a substance are same. Different substances have different molecules. There are three states of matter. Solid, liquid and gas. Tell me some examples of solids. Chalk, wood, iron, etc. Yes. In solid substances, the molecules are packed very closely to each other and are strongly bonded. Because of this, solids have a definite shape and size that cannot be changed easily. We have to apply force to change it. Tell me some examples of liquid. Water, milk, kerosene, petrol and juices. Yes. In the liquids, the molecules are not very closely packed. Liquids can flow, so they are called fluids. They do not have a shape of their own like solids, but take the shape of the containers in which they are poured. They always have a definite volume. Gas is the third state of matter. An example is the air, which is a mixture of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and other gases. In gas, the molecules are very, very loosely packed and have strong force between them to stay together. Gas can be contained in a small flask or a big container. Change of states One interesting thing is that the state of some matter are interchangeable. A very common example is ice. Ice is a solid state which on heating melts into liquid that is water. This process is called melting. The water on further heating changes into water vapour which is gas. This process is called evaporation. Now, if we cool this water vapour, it again changes into the liquid state of water. This is called condensation. The water, when kept in an ice tray in a fridge, turns into ice. This process is called freezing. Thus, matter can be in solid, liquid and gaseous state. The formation of rain in the water cycle is a natural example of the change of state of matter. Solute, solvent and solution. In our daily life, we see that some solids mix with liquids. This is very common and very useful. Can anyone tell any example of this? My mother adds sugar in the milk for me to drink. Yes, sugar and salt mix with liquids like milk and water. Here, 
the sugar and salt that dissolves in water are called solute. The water and milk are solvent and the mixture is called a solution. Solute plus solvent is equal to solution. Example, sugar plus milk is equal to sweet milk. Salt plus water is equal to salty water.